Hey guys, Brennan here, brennanvaleski.com, and today you're gonna learn everything about the Facebook Audience Insight tool. So I get common questions about this all the time about how to use the Facebook audience interests, how to target people on Facebook, different kind of interests, what uh, interests you maybe should target. So with the Facebook Audience Insights, you're able to figure out exactly what type of audiences that you should target and kind of do some market research for when you're setting up your Facebook app advertising campaigns and efforts. So that's what we're going to be going through today, exactly how to analyze different potential audiences that you may want to throw up for your campaigns. Now, I do want to keep in mind that ultimately the best type of audience that you could do is your lookalike, right? Your your uh, email list that you already have with your store, your business, or whatever you're uh, operating under. You have an email list of some sort, right? Your customer base. You can upload that to Facebook. And now I'm not going into specifics of how to set up the lookalike audiences and all that kind of stuff. In today's video, we're going over how to find new audiences for maybe people who don't have an email list already built up or for those people who don't already have a pixel built up with enough data to be able to then create you know custom audiences off of that we're going for the fresh people or maybe maybe people that already have a, a lookalike or an email list that just want to target some new people so that's what we're going to be going through today exactly how to do that within the Facebook audience insights tool so I'm going to jump into the computer and get right to it all right, for those of you guys who are brand new to Facebook advertising, to get to the Audience Insights tool, all we have to do is log into the Business Manager, and up on the top left, we just select the Audience Insights section, which is right under the plan area. So above Creative Hub, right on in Audience Insights. That is what we need to click on to go right to the Audience Insights tool. So within the Audience Insights tool, there are a variety of different options. Like I said, you can also take a look at people that are potentially connected to your pages, uh, audiences that you may already have. But if you're looking to find new interests, how to target interests, because I see a lot of people, they'll just target a broad interest. Say, just like, I, you know, it could be something as broad as hiking, right? Or maybe even just outdoors. Outdoors is an even bigger one, right? Just as a broad example, right? Just outdoors, or out, <laughs> if I can spell outdoors correctly, people just target main interests, right? They target the big name, they target like dogs, which dogs, cats, or outdoors, it's quite a large audience. So if we were to uh, select on outdoors, so outdoors, right? You click on the selection that pops up here. So as you can see, eight to nine million monthly active people within this audience. That may be a little large for when you're setting up your targeting. So I typically wouldn't necessarily recommend you go just straight for a massive audience because you wanna try and get a little bit more specific, a little bit more catered to specifically what you're offering these people. So say for example, I had an outdoor store, right? I had a, you know, an, a hiking outdoor outdoors, camping type of store. Uh, you know, let's just say for example, I had that, which I am going to be setting up over the next few months. I'm going to be documenting that and updating you guys on that uh, as things move along, but it is quite a process to set up because of the way that I'm running the e-commerce business. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but I will keep you guys up to date on that. Uh, but within the outdoors sector, right on the audience insights tool, if we just select that, it's going to be a massive, massive, uh, audience of active people. So instead, what you can also go into is maybe look at what other people, uh, within that group are then also have an affinity towards, which an affinity, uh, is this little, uh, number here, right? So the selected audience is, you know, more likely to be in this group compared to other Facebook users compared to the typical, uh, Facebook users. So they may have this job title, right? So you can kind of learn a bit more about your target market and figure out what kind of other pages they like. So if we go to page likes, it will then load up what type of things that they're into because you ultimately, when you're figuring out, you know, targeting for your, your e-commerce business or whatever business you're running, I, I mostly just talk about e-commerce on this channel. So I, I suggest, you know, I would imagine that most of you guys are into e-commerce uh, that follow the channel, follow my channel and my stuff, but I know this is probably bringing in some new people as well. So I don't want to just, you know, keep it just e econ because it applies to every type of traffic and, and, you know, stuff like that within Facebook ads. It applies to everybody in traffic area. So uh, trying to get traffic from Facebook ads. So with the page likes here, the affinity, like I said, they're this much more likely 
to like Drury Outdoors, which Drury Outdoors, I don't know much about, but all we have to do is click on it and it will then go ahead and open up a, a business page of Drury Outdoors, what they're all about. So as you can see, it looks like a hunting brand. Uh, so that, you know, they get a good amount of people. They have almost a million likes. That means there's people interested in this. So if you were targeting outdoors people, instead of just targeting general outdoors people, you may want to target people that are into Drury Outdoors because they are a more like crazy rabid fans, right? If you're picking someone who just likes outdoors versus someone who may be into hunting, is very specific, likes Drury Outdoors, the brand, you might be able to target them a little bit better. Cabela's is another brand in the uh, kind of outdoor sporting type of uh, field as well. Uh, that's another brand there. So we have Southern Boys Outdoors. I haven't heard of all of these exactly because I'm not really into the whole hunting side of things. I'm more into like the camping and, and nature hiking type of stuff. Uh, more like, you know, the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The boats, like, like boats and stuff. Uh, not necessarily just straight fishing. It's kayaking. There we go. Kayaking or, or canoeing, like that, that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it just depends on the person. But as you can see right there, even myself, like, I'm not into hunting at all. So if you're trying to sell a hunting product to someone who's into outdoor, like that's a classic example right there. It, what I just told you guys, you know, I'm not into hunting, but I like outdoor stuff. So if you're targeting just general outdoors people, you can see why it doesn't make sense to send hunting things towards a person. Now, Facebook will kind of select sub audiences and, and try and help you when you're targeting new audiences. It will slowly like pick different pockets of people based on the amount of action they take. But you get what I'm saying. You don't want to be just targeting general outdoors if you're selling hunting products because not everyone is into hunting. I'm not into hunting at all, but I like outdoor stuff. So that's like a different sector. So if you're targeting hunting, you want to find pages that specifically sell hunting related items, right? Hunting pages, uh, maybe even some hunting influencers, which you can find under the categories. A lot of times there will be a specific person here. Um, on this one, I don't think I see one. There's like apparel and clothing. You can see they have certain magazines, so hunting magazine. Uh, they have TV networks, outdoor channel. A lot of times in makeup, at least, they'll have certain influencers that pop up here. As you can see, Cabela's is right there under the product and services. If we click see all, yeah, so as you can see, there's like actors, so like the duck commander, that dude, apparently certain uh, comedians, right? You can kind of get an idea of the people beyond just targeting the specific niche. You, you can get more specific with the, with the niche that you're selecting here on your audiences. So instead of just targeting outdoors, it, you maybe want to target Realtree outdoors if you're selling some sort of apparel, right? If you're selling some sort of hunting apparel, you probably want to target Realtree outdoors, people that already like like hunting apparel, right? If you're selling a uh, clothing or, 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 or t-shirts and stuff like that. As you can see, that's the that's the market right there. You know, you can see that the girl there, the guy here, like that's the target market. So if you're selling something you need to make sure that you're getting more specific with your with your interests versus just going straight outdoors. Pick outdoors on the uh, audience insights and then you can go into really the page likes, even the location. Like definitely want to do some market research on the people that you're selling to because if you don't, you're, like I said, you may be hitting the wrong people. And Facebook's going to do their best to try and like segment and make sure that the people that are actually taking action on your advertising are are seeing it. Like if they showed me the hunting, like I wouldn't take any action on that. So they're probably going to like, oh, this Brennan guy and all the other people just like him don't take action. So let's push him away. That's why when you're running your ads, you need to let them go for, a, you know, at least like a good amount of time, maybe, you know, at least three days to get enough data so that Facebook can hit the right people for you. And especially at a $5 a day budget, you can do it. Uh, you know, but it needs to take, it, it takes time for Facebook to get the data is what I'm saying. It's not going to happen instantly. Like, but, but this definitely helps narrow down the people that you're selecting. Okay. So instead of just straight outdoors, select the more specific stuff, right? Select the lo probably not locations. Uh, I don't typically go by that, but page likes page likes the certain influencers can really help a lot. So sport, if you're selling hunting stuff, maybe target uh, that. As you can see, certain athletes like racing, like NASCAR. Like if, if you live in America, you already know this person. Like you've met people that are literally this exact like 
crazy, like, you know, crazy in a good way, okay? Crazy in a good way, all about hunting, outdoors, camo, crazy stuff like that, okay? And I'm a little bit different in terms of the outdoor niche. So that's what I'm saying in, in terms of like your target market, it's different to who you're selecting. So think about that when you're going into the different interests, okay? You can also take a look at demographics and see the split between men and women. So as you can see in that general outdoors, it is a little bit more of an even split. Now, if we were to test the real tree outdoors, let's go ahead and test that just out of curiosity. So real tree uh, outdoors, as you can see, now we can see the demographics specifically. So as you can see, it's a little bit more men uh, into Realtree Outdoors. So you can kind of get a better idea of the audience that you're targeting within Realtree Outdoors. Okay, so a little bit more men than women there. And you can see, you know, obviously their number one category is they're into that apparel, obviously. Huge amount of percentage of this audience likes the Realtree Outdoors page in the Realtree lifestyle. You can get more specific with exactly who you're selling to is, is what I'm saying here versus just going the general niche that your store is focused around or your business is focused around. You need to get more in depth, okay? So another another example here, instead of just going straight into the outdoors, let's take a look at, at beauty, right? We take a look at beauty. So as you can see, a huge percent more women. Now there are gay men as well in that category that do makeup and all that kind of stuff too, the 28% there, I imagine. Uh, but it, there's also 72% women. So you can kind of see the difference there between men and women. And I imagine it's not all gay men in this percentage that are into beauty because within shopping and fashion and beauty, there is also some other like cosmetic type stuff that is different. Um, I'm not exactly too well versed in that because I'm not into that. But you look at the page likes, you can see like, okay, furniture, Ikea, apparently they like that. You can see like, what is this? And, and click on these pages and kind of see what they're into. Okay, and get a better idea of your market so you can better advertise them. So this person, obviously it looks almost like a sorority type of brand. I'm not exactly sure, but you can see the difference between this and this, like all these, you know, hunting versus, versus just general, uh, versus more like camo hunting outdoors. It, it's very different, okay? Each of those pages have different types of people, all right? And going more in depth as well allows you to segment when you're targeting different audiences. It allows you to get more in depth because if you just selected, if you just selected dogs, right? If you just select dogs, that's 50 million to 60 million people, right? Comparative to like selecting specific dog breeds or you know, specific pages. Like if someone actually likes, I love my dog, they probably are more likely to like dogs than just someone who is in the dogs category. Like it should make sense about, I see a lot of people asking me this question. So that's why I figured I'd make this really in-depth video going over the differences here. The differences between just selecting a general interest and selecting the pages that those people like. So click into these, because all of these different options here that come up as top categories, you can see what they're more about and then target those specific segments. So if you are selling um, like a subscription box, you probably want to compete with BarkBox. You probably want to be targeting those people that, you know, buy, that are buying BarkBox stuff, that are into BarkBox, okay? Instead of maybe somebody else, okay? If it, it Cater who you're targeting within these specific pages to what is most closely related to your product that you're advertising your, you know, free thing or or your your free plus shipping offer or whatever the top of your funnel looks like. What it, it, maybe it's just a twenty dollar product. Whatever you're advertising to get people into your business, this is where you need to be looking because that is how you can kind of micro segment within looking in the audience insights. And like I said, there are other advanced options and connections and stuff like that. I typically just stick around the interest area because you wanna see the overall demographics. I don't typically like cut it off or anything, but you can if you wanna get like really in depth with it. The biggest thing for me and what has been most useful is the page likes and seeing what those kind of people are into based on the more broad interest and then going deeper. So it, the whole entire audience insights tool within Facebook is really just about going deeper, okay? That is the whole basis of this premise is you wanna go deeper into your audience. So you can get more 
specific and more catered offers directly to your ideal customer. Instead of just something that is bland and broad, you wanna go more in depth. Like I said, that is kind of the metric here behind this, okay? And you could also go into activity. You can see, you know, like how active they are. You can see locations, uh, countries, languages. You could talk, you could even micro segment within, you know, testing different locations as well. You could test US versus testing uh, Canada or, or UK. Now within locations, I typically stick to the main countries. I don't typically go into like smaller countries and no offense against like Vietnam or, or, or Singapore or any of the other smaller countries out there. It's just that there is a lot of, that Facebook sends you a lot of cheap likes or, or cheap in engagement. And I don't like paying for people that aren't gonna buy the product, right? So you wanna make sure it's, it's targeted to people that speak English, maybe in the English market within the United States or even Canada, UK, or, or another country of similar kind of um, status within you know, purchasing online and that kind of stuff. Nothing against smaller countries, it's just what I have found to be best for you know any, any kind of advertising I've run. I, I see a ton of cheap clicks come in from those countries, but nobody takes action. So it all just depends. You can definitely test it yourself to see, you know, cause I'm, I might be wrong, but uh, that's just what I've seen. So I'm just kind of documenting that here with you. So you can kind of understand like, United States is typically the best thing to go, but you could dominate the Mexico market if you speak Spanish. If you speak Spanish, you could dominate Mexico. You could dominate uh, Brazil if you speak Portuguese. You could dominate those other smaller markets um, and really, really win a lot. So don't just get caught up in only doing United States when you're looking into locations uh, based on the people. So, you know, you could see uh, top countries for dogs. Obviously, well, I have it selected on United States, so we can get rid of that. But you can see, um, you know, Vietnam, obviously a good percent there. Uh, United States of America, Brazil. I mean, you could see the other more, you know, what are the most popular countries kind of target within that see like what countries like dogs more okay as you can see south korea obviously has a higher you know they're more likely to be in the dog group so you can really really get in depth here on this audience insights tool and it's definitely what you want to do when you're selecting different interests because instead of just yo-yoing around selecting just dogs or something like that i'm not saying you guys are doing that but i see some people doing that okay it, you want to go into the page likes you want to take a look at the most popular pages that other people in this community are into and then target those pages. So this is very valuable for you guys today within the Facebook Audience Insights tool. There's really a whole lot of things you can look at within your target demographics and audiences when you're setting up your interest targeting if you wanna find those new interests to target within your Facebook ad campaigns. So I hope this is valuable. If you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like, leave a comment so we can get that engagement rate up. Thank you for spending your time with me here today and I will see you in the next one.